Welcome to the PTFO Podcast, an hour-long debate of this week's hottest topics by four random guys whose opinions don't matter and are entirely unqualified to give you any sort of life advice. You can listen to this ridiculous group therapy session on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, Google Play, and Facebook. Here are your hosts, Bernsey, Jimmy, Kyle, and Colby. Yeah, that intro is right. pretty sexy, huh? I feel like such a rock star. All right, so I'm going to take over the question of the day to start this show. We're going to be talking a little bit later about a social media discussion from a Black Mirror episode, but I thought I would ask an interesting question from the very first episode of this series. And it's going to spoil the first episode, but don't worry about that. It's important. And I want to hear your answers to the question as well, either through Twitter or on YouTube comments. But the the uh, premise behind the first episode is that the Prime Minister of England wakes up and he hears that the princess has been abducted, kidnapped. So he goes into his office, he's got his national security team around him, and they're waiting for the ransom call. They can't find out where these people are. They, they're technology geniuses. They can't find them. And so they say, when they get the ransom call, the kidnappers say, you have 24 hours, we do not want any money. We're not looking for monetary gain. We will kill the princess if you do not do this in 24 hours. You must go on live television broadcast around the world of you having sex with a pig. So I want to know. <laughs> Are we live? Is this? Yeah, this is real live. Oh. Where the fuck did this Wait, come Wait, that from? happened in the show? Yeah. They said, they said if you do not... He said, uh, if you don't comply with our demands, we will kill the princess. You must have sex with a pig on live television. And so they I'm actually gonna... have to give the princess, but there's no like, hi, gotcha. You know, no. they actually have to give the princess. Though well, the princess has been abducted. She's kidnapped. I know, but my fear would be like, I fuck a pig on national TV. And then they're just like, just kid, man. Like, no, we no. give you the princess. So they can't, they can't find him. They're trying to, you know, you're obviously going to take all 24 hours, but they can't Wait, find him. Wait, this isn't like a fucking intense Mario game. Like, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to ask direction. Jimmy. I'm going to ask Jimmy first. If one of your family members, your daughter, your son, or your wife was taken, and there was no way <laughs> that they could find them, and it was coming down to the end, would you make a YouTube video having sex with a pig. What what are my reassurances that I get them back after I hey, let's just let's just say it's a guarantee. Let's just say it's a guarantee. You're gonna <laughs> yeah, get guarantee. Them back. Let's just let's just say there's a middleman who has your family member, or in the first case, the princess. The middleman is confirmed 100% legit, and he will deliver the princess yes. or kid the goods. After the act is Remember, completed. this is going to go viral worldwide. Everyone Do is you going have to, to nut? Right. <laughs> you well, you I, have I, to. My answer is pretty simple. I mean, I'm going to pork the pig. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to nut? That's the question. Yeah, you do. Damn. All what right. about you, Kyle? What if your, your children or your wife was telling you? Of course you, he's going to have, have sex with the pig. Every, everybody would have... I mean, yeah, the, the question is obvious. It's either... The answer is obvious. For, yeah, you're yeah, a monster answer either way. Is obvious, but you're a monster either way. So you might as well be a monster that saves your family, even though you're going to be known as a pig fucker for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, everywhere you go, your dignity is gone. All but you it. wouldn't. I don't believe you'd be able to get a boner. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't think your That's dignity would be gone. Setup. Here's here's why I don't think your dignity would be gone. There's yeah, a lot of people are going to make fun of you, but there's a lot of people who would be like, oh damn it, if I was in that situation, what would I do? Oh, you're going to be able like, to write a book. You're going to get movie rights. I mean, yeah, can you tell people like do does everybody know why you're fucking the pig or oh, you good just point. yeah yeah pig? in the show in oh, the okay. show it gets leaked the kidnappers demands get leaked and at first the public is like no he can't do it he can't do it they got to find her and then eventually as the time starts to run out they're like you got to do it we want to see it yes yeah, so. i mean if if everybody knows the context to the story and the backstory that he's doing it to save his family he's not going to get that much hate he's just going to be known he's as going to have the whole world is going to be laughing yeah. at you well, so, well, upset yeah not is. really then you say like what i mean either my daughter is going to die or yeah. i had to fuck a pig you know i think yeah it's a you know in a way it's your it's a lose-lose situation you're a monster mm. for banging a pig to some people's eyes but you're also a hero for saving your family in other people's eyes, you can't. Well, you won't be looked at as a monster. Nobody's even thinking pig. about the poor pig. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Pig. Well, literally. Fuck yeah, the pig. literally, you are going to fuck the pig. All and right, sh- what a way to kick it, off the... Now, that is some extra special bacon. Wait, <laughs> would anybody not fuck the pig? I don't know. Let's hear in the comments. Well, hold on, hold us. on. Um, Burns, Burns you, you don't have any pig? kids. So oh, say, say if my, my parents or my No, no, no. Let's siblings? take your parents out of this. Let's spice it up a little bit for you. Let's say it's an extended family member like a third cousin. Nah. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Okay, okay, no, let's take that question a step back. Burns, at what level of your family do you start fucking a pig to save them? Probably, like, my parents or my siblings. That's now, it. Now, does that Internal level family? extend if... Yeah. What if it's... Does it matter, like, the animal? Like, if, like, say it's your third cousin, you won't fuck a pig, but would you fuck, like, a dog? <laughs> no. Or is it any animal? It's bestiality either way. That's. I, mean, I know, but, I mean, you gotta, like... Some animals would be less fuckable than well, others. Some people listen to our <laughs> podcast while they're at school. Dude, Dude, we just came out the gates. But the funniest part heat. about this episode is he, he actually has to go through with it, and he does go through with it. Oh, what it's is just this one TV show? Black Mirror. Sounds fucked up. That all happened. It, is. it sounds like Burns wrote the show. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Uh, real quick, everybody. Oh, we usually plug this at the end, but I'm going to plug it now. Uh, make sure that you guys check the description wherever you're listening or watching. You can watch on YouTube. You can listen on iTunes, Facebook, Google Play, Spotify, anywhere you want to, basically. And uh, definitely on iTunes. Make sure you guys give us a review if you enjoyed the show. That is our – YouTube's a really big focal point, but iTunes is – that's our bread and butter. That's where we're really trying to grow – our audience and our show and we see all the reviews we see all the tweets anything we talk about on these shows you guys please interact with us talk to us in the comment section on twitter we're actually going to showcase a a viewers live video question later on in the show as well and you guys are more than welcome to uh, put your stuff out there email it to us whatever you want with that being said i got a pretty the uh, pig fucking. wait jimmy real quick jimmy i have a pretty funny twitter story uh this dude messaged well i think all of us and uh, I like said something back where I was like, oh, it's actually a really good idea. He was like, oh, shit, dude, you actually responded? And I'm like, wow, I'm like one of these three guys right now. You know? well, yeah, like, that's the, that's the <laughs> what do you mean? I just... We're, we're going to respond. We, we're, we're listening to your feedback, and like, we, see, we see everything. Actually, I, I have something. This is perfect. We're talking about pig fucking and, and animals and stuff. I've got a quick animal fucking story okay so we Whoa, have a we like have a sex or bread, fuck like <laughs> we have a full bred poodle a standard poodle her name's dexy she's papers everything full bred super expensive dog okay she goes to the groomer once a week and two weeks ago she was in heat so we put a diaper on her and ashley takes her to the groomer and says she's in heat she has a diaper don't let her around any boy dogs blah 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 and you guys know the size of a poodle she's she's a mid-sized dog okay So we come back, I come back to pick her up at the end of the day and the owner comes out and she's like, I am so sorry. I was like, what, what happened? She said, well, my, my teacup chihuahua kind of mounted Dexy. I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Have you guys ever seen a teacup chihuahua? Yeah, those are like three or three or four pounds, right? Itty bitty dog. And I was like, how is that even possible? And she said she turned around and this little chihuahua was monkey mounting Dexy, like just hanging on what? for the ride as they were fucking walking. <laughs> so Dexy may be pregnant with, I guess they would call them cheapoos. I don't even know. Damn, that'd be a cute little puppy. Yeah, that would. But no, we side Googled note, them. we Googled them. Either they're like super ugly or they're cute. There is no in between. How though, dude? I get that's. I, I, I give mass respect to that dog. Like we're just, going along for the she ride. Said, she said he monkey mounted her, so he was like latched onto her like like a tick. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy, question all right out of the gate. Why are we talking about so many animal fuckings? Did you get your money back for that grooming section? No, session? I just told that lady. I said you're taking every one of these dogs if she's pregnant. I don't want those. I'll take, I'm sure you can make some cute. good money off of that, right? Yeah, why not? Probably dude? not. Let's make it rain. A, a, a chi a chihuahua in a poodle mix. Dude, somebody's gonna think you're just a fucked up like breeder. I know. <laughs> you know how people get. You know how like you go on like Craigslist and stuff. If you're looking for like an animal, then you get all these. There's like just as much postings for animals as there is like people fucking super pissed off at like you know like underground breeders that don't breed correctly. Like you would be that person where they would look at you and think Shake that's super head. fucked up. Yeah. yeah, they'd be like, 
they would just be looking at you in disgust because you improperly breeded two a chihuahua like, and a poodle different type of animals you know it's crazy because they're full they're they're both full full blooded like they both have papers and everything for their respected breeds well that's good though at <laughs> least anyway, i'm actually interested right. for the follow up to see if your dog is yeah, pregnant yeah yeah i'll let I've, you guys yeah. know for sure so uh first big topic of the day i think my dog's gay <laughs> is uh <laughs> trump's wall and uh, we skirt along along the line of political talk on here sometimes, but I, I let me let me give you guys a, a picture. We throughout the week before an episode, we all throw ideas in in the in the chat, like what topics we want to talk about. And this was one that I wanted to talk about just for the for the sheer fact of how funny it is to me. So Trump is going through with the wall, which he campaigned very hard for. He said in his first interview at the White House the other night on ABC that Mexico was going to pay for it. And immediately after that, the Mexican president said, no, we're not. And then he canceled his trip. So it doesn't look like Mexico is going to pay for it. But the funny thing is, this thing is estimated to cost $25 billion to make. It's going to be 18 feet It's going to be more than that after they do the environmental studies and all that, too. Yeah. I couldn't believe that price uh, when I saw the... Uh the price that was almost as shocking as him actually going through with so it. So I guess in my I guess my opinion. question to you guys and the viewers is: Do you think it's a good idea? Or do you think it's a bad idea? Do you care? No, he is batshit stone cold fucking nuts. <laughs> what is this at Burns Day four or five as, as he's president, and this is already what we're going through? Dude, we're gonna right? pay for it twice now too. Or did they back off? They backed off on the uh, import tax or whatever. I think. Well, Mexico's not paying. Yeah, they're not gonna pay for it. Fourth well, his time. idea his idea was like, well, we'll put an import tax. Well, I pay for that because then fruits and vegetables are going to be more expensive and beer. Yeah, it looks. I mean, I yeah, I was Corona American citizens it, because in the in the interview, the guy was like, um, "Who's going to pay for the wall up front?" And he kept like avoiding the question. And you and yeah, me, yeah, yeah. you and me are going to pay for you're... the wall. And he's like, "But it's yeah. okay. In the end, we'll get it reimbursed." Didn't he kind of seem like pretty scummy when he was like, "Oh, they'll we'll we'll find a way to make them pay." And I was like, "That's kind of sketchy." Like he just says shit; it doesn't mean yeah. anything. So <laughs> it's like, wait, he's like, "Oh, it's gonna be. It might be. It might be a complicated way." What the fuck does that even mean? But yeah, that's exactly. Here's I, what's again, gonna happen if he yeah. does build the wall. If he let's hypothetically, if he's out in four years, the wall's not gonna be done. I'm sorry, I, I don't see that. I don't see no. how in the hill that. Even if it does get done, time. someone's going to knock it down. Let's yeah. Let's say he makes it a two-term presidency, and he he's out in eight years. The second he's gone, whoever comes in is going to destroy it. That's why you I'm surprised so he. It, yeah, I, so that's dumb. why I'm surprised he took that on first. Like if like, again, my political knowledge is if I was rating myself on Burns' hockey scale of levels, like You're my level one pol- skater. <laughs> oh, I'm a level. I'm a level one politic okay. Paul. Poli- what did it be? Politician. Polit- politician. Yeah, I like. I don't know anything, but I was pretty surprised. Like that's what he came out of the gates with. Like first the abortion shit that pisses off half the people. Then you're gonna cut off Mexico. I was surprised, but shit. At least he's doing something. Well, I don't what know. does Kyle think? Kyle's, Kyle's been kind of quiet. No, I was making a drink, but I mean, it's <laughs> it's kind of like haha. He just got elected. Cool, funny. He ain't really gonna do that shit. Then you're like, fuck, like. <laughs> He's not, like it's not really about doing the stuff he said. It's more like how just fucking wild card he is about it. You know, it's just like, well, we're doing this. You know, we're signing off this, and exactly. just like, oh, oh, what? Like, I don't know. It's just he's he's more of a reality type star, you know. And it's kind of it's like a TV show to him. It's, yeah, it's kind of scary because it's all. I mean, if it's all kind of like personal opinion type things. If he feels like something should be some way, then he's like, all right, yeah, we're doing it. You know, it's. It's it's kind of hitting that point to me where I thought it was funny. Now I'm like, wait, fuck. <laughs> like, do you, I gotta, guys, do you guys know? It's what not the, him going to war. It's it's fucking us. You know. Yeah. I have a question for you guys. For know you what guys the Doomsday who, oh, Clock go. is? Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah, they and they moved put it, it like thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty yeah. seconds. They moved 30 it forward seconds. thirty seconds, and I think it's they predict that within sixty four years we won't be here anymore because <clears throat> they take the hypotheticals of nuclear war and now climate change because trump doesn't believe in climate change so he's like he's he's undoing all of obama's stuff when it comes to all of that and they like culminate this into a formula and they said within 64 years we're going to eradicate ourselves i have a i have a question for you guys who know more here and again i hate to bring up my level one of politics but so 
I, I wasn't, I was just in a normal conversation about someone who was like just shitting on Trump. I'm like, well, let me ask you, and he didn't answer this, so I'd like to ask you three. If someone else was, I, I hate to say it because they probably wouldn't have won, but let's say it wasn't Trump and it's a different guy from this side running the country, they would probably be doing the same stuff, correct? Like, it's not like it's just Trump. I it's, no, I don't think so. No. Like, it's not even real. Like, they're all of a sudden they're like anti trade and all this. It's like not even a conservative policy. They've, so it is him. Yeah. yeah, he's like a wild Okay, card. see, I didn't know that. See, that's why I was like, no, I think he's still representing the party. So he's off the party representation. He's just full wild card. The dumbest thing about this whole wall is, though, is it, it won't work. I'll just build, like, I'll just come across and overstay a travel visa or a student visa. And I'll just stay. Or if I get think- desperate, I'll just, drink, I'll just dig a tunnel. Or I don't know if people have heard of this magical invention called a fucking ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think you're missing the point <laughs> of the wall, Burns. This wall is—it's not just a wall. It's going to be like a pe- there's they're gonna there's going to be staff. There's going to be Homeland Security like camped out in oh for two thousand miles for two thousand yeah you miles, can't though it's too long miles of security that's yeah. fucking absurd it man's a fucking no, they can't no even way. they can't even cover the like borders of like, I think it's like Arizona where it's really bad they're gonna like, be they're in- gonna be up there with like crossbows and shit. No, they're not. Daryl from Daryl from Walking Dead. Let's, on let's the stop top. talking Just... about this fucking child. Let's move on. <laughs> hey, before we move on, as long as I can go to Ensenada, Mexico, and still run the place like a fucking king, I'm happy. If You're Trump have fucks to go that up, the wall. Oh, dude! Hey, it's a wall Ernie's. to keep us in. It's, it's reverse psychology. We'll save that for we'll a Colby story down the road. Next question. It's not in Mexico. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> Well, let, let's tell them really quick. Um, next week, Kyle will not be here. Ooh, I'll be in Death Valley, California, riding a dirt bike across the desert valley floor. But we It's do, my least favorite week of the year because I have to do, do everything. We do have sucks. his replacement for at least the Wednesday, Wednesday show. We don't know about what we're doing on next Sunday, but next Wednesday we have our first guest. And uh, if you guys are uh, an old school PTFO fan, you'll remember her. She used to go by Ashley Adams, and now she goes by DJ. DJ Laura Lux. Laura Lux. DJ Keepstar. And uh, she was the infamous PTFO Got Tits. Back in the day, we used to live stream, and uh, she actually used to go after her people, tits. We used, we used to go after people's Twitter. I think Brie yeah. Olson blocked, blocked us pretty oh, yeah, quick. Yeah, she but, did sign her tits. Yeah. I forgot but about but that. She, hey. she signed her tits. And it went viral. It trended on Twitter. We got her on the show. She's actually a viable video game nerd. She's not one of those people that says, oh, I'm all about video games and then doesn't know what she's talking about. We got her on the show. She was cool as shit. And she is going to be our guest on Wednesday. So, And she has 1.2 million Instagram followers, which is incredible. Yeah. She, That's a lot of people. Yeah. I don't. She's a DJ now. She used to be, uh, I don't want to say this wrong, but was she not like a... Something for, she's, she's I like know she's model. been in like the Australian Hustler it's magazine, Burns hasn't she? I don't know. Well, we'll ask her, Jimmy. We'll yeah. ask her. Yeah. Anyway, she'll be our guest. Are on her Wednesday. tits real? I forget. And they, then we, uh, we, if you guys have any suggestions for a guest on next Sunday, let us know, and then Kyle will be back the week after. All right, next topic, hey, Burns. Uh, Speaks over here fidgeting with shit, fucking ruining the audio. Well, give me the fidget box. <laughs> that would ruin the audio. Uh. I can't wait to put her in the in the hot seat when she's on here. I'm going to do two minutes on the clock and ask her as many questions as I can in two minutes. It's a new segment I thought of 30 seconds ago. I like that. I like the hot seat. That's cool. Uh, write it down, Jimmy, because okay. I'm going to forget it. Okay. It's 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 done been written. Done. I wrote it down, Does too. Does she do porn? I, we'll find out. I don't think she did porn, but I know back in the day she would like put on videos like Vimeo of her bouncing her boobs up and down. Like oh, yeah, we should get on. in contact with her for our website. We've posted about her three times. She's the girl that got the Harambe tattoo. R.I.P. Harambe. She said, "If I get a uh, like a thousand retweets, I'll get this tattoo." And then she got it in like ten minutes. So we posted about her. Oh. Did really good. Hmm. It should be an like interesting episode. What's next, Burns? Uh, we're gonna go into a little bit of social media discussion. We were talking about that first episode of Black Mirror earlier. What is? Oh, about. okay. So that's Black Mirror. We're, so that's the pig fucking show. Yeah, they're all different episodes. It's not like a entire storyline over the entire season. It's a different ep- different story every episode. So this one is called Nosedive, and it deals with uh, social media standing. Where in this episode, 
you can see everyone's social media followers in real life as you walk around. You can see how much they're liked, how many people follow them, and you can rate them from one star to five stars. And if you have like less than three stars, you can be denied places to live. You can't get to certain restaurants. You can't fly on airplanes. So it's all about social media standing. And I was asking, do we kind of already do that in real life? Well, I mean, uh, job applications, a lot of your job applications require you to put your, for more than one reason though, it's not just to rate, it's to literally look into your life and make sure you're not batshit crazy, but certain fields, you, you have to have a social reach. So there's lots of applications right now that require you to put your Twitter following, Facebook following, and I tell Callie, my daughter, I think within five or ten years, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna be a requirement to to have your social media stature on any application when you're looking for a job. Is that a good or a bad thing? I, I don't think I don't know. I don't think it's a bad thing. I I don't know how that really makes sense in a lot of standpoints because like I got a buddy who's a super nerd, really smart computer guy, who I don't even think he has any. I think he might have Facebook. That would suck for him if that's like what it comes down to, where you got to put your shit on there because, you know, he's really smart and he has a really good job doing his shit. And he actually does a lot of stuff that then goes out on social media, you know, like they do updates and news stuff. That, that would yeah, suck someone, if that's what it comes to. Someone could just destroy you, though. Like in the show, if, you, if you're if you out in the real world, someone messes up your drink. The bartender messes up your drink. Two stars. Your rating goes down. Now he can get fired. Or... That reminds me of uh, SNL last week when Aziz was in the Uber, and it's like uh, they're both trying to get five star ratings, and it's just like, what will you do for a five star rating? Because that's like what you, you know, it comes down to in a way. Like, I'm not gonna get in the car with that dude. He's only a three point three star. I'm gonna wait for this five star. Oh. Social media man. I don't, Kyle? I don't, I don't know if it'll ever get to that point. I know, I know they make you put it on applications to like background check you. Let's. For instance, let's say Kyle was going to go put in an application to be a preacher. They're going to go check out his Twitter and his Facebook to see if he's qualified to be a preacher. Yeah, and, I, and it's more like if you see something, you know, that's a red flag. It's, I mean, I don't, I don't think, like, the ratings – like, who, who's making these ratings? The man. Probably, probably insecure people who have bad ratings. Yeah, I mean, it's like you could be the an awesome The same one person. that instituted the purge. Ooh, yeah you can be an awesome person and, and still get you know bad ratings you know it's like lots of it's I, it's would be unfair to judge like that well yeah, like i always look show. at it like like restaurants too like i always feel like the people who rate restaurants are the type like most of them rate them bad who have a bad experience who have a bad experience but like if you have a great experience with like six of your friends you get in the car you drive off you don't think about going on yelp and being like man that place was fucking awesome you're yeah, just you don't even time. tell you don't even tell your friends or family about your experience if it was good but if you have a bad experience everyone hears about it yeah it's almost kind of like a youtube video where it's like you're looking at the comments and everybody's like this is fucking awesome cool video awesome sweet man this is funny but you know what? The only really comment that really sticks out to you is like, dude, you're a fucking faggot. Drink tool bleach. Sellout. Kill yourself. Yeah. You know, so it's, yeah, that's not fair. Well, it's, we also live in a world where a bigger social media following means more opportunities and doors open too. Is that fair? I mean, I mean, you guys, way, you guys, every one of us in here literally kind of lives in that realm. I mean, me on the YouTube side. Burns, well, Burns is semi-retired, but the podcast side now, and Kyle, I mean, you're knee-deep in it with Facebook and website. I mean, like, you, you, you do your thing, you work with companies, right? They all go to Alexa, and they say, whoa, look at this dude. This dude has major traffic. We're going to hit him up, and we're going to pass over all these little guys. I mean, that's the world we live in. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, that's, that's different than, you know, just your average person, though. Do you know what yeah. the average person's social media following is? As in, if everything equated to a follow or a like, like obviously followers or, well, yeah, we'll just go with followers. You know what it is? Like 200? Three, I, I would think say. Last time I, last time I heard about it, which wasn't very long, it was like 360. The average person has a combined reach across their platforms of 360 followers. 
That actually kind of makes sense, though, because, like, my wife, what is she? She's probably got, like, nah, actually, she's probably got a better Instagram than me. The majority of their followers are made probably from high school, which, yeah. I mean, <clears> most people, people that you are, meet, are people completely that you know. different than they are from high school than they are now, you know, so it's really not a fair reading. What the fuck, dude? I did this earlier. You're fucking mixing your fucking drink with my pen. I'll buy you a new pen. Okay, so what? just to just to paint a picture for everybody, it's sorry. It's about eleven thirty a.m. in in uh, Seattle what time, the fuck? and they are making what Tito's. <laughs> well, well I I had Tito's here, but not all I was doing was stirring it around with a little my bit. Fucking pen, man! I did it twice earlier. You didn't say well, that's anything. more gross for your drink. I don't care you know how many people have touched this pen. Do you? you guys? Do you guys drink every day? No, no. It's, I'm leaving tomorrow, so it's like, let's get... Yeah, I got everything all ready and shit, so we're just... Do you guys ever get shit-faced before you post your articles on your website? We used to. I mean, we. I mean, when the days where we wake up in the morning and we already had, like, 2500 bucks made, we're like, fuck today, let's get fucked up and work, you know? But, yeah, that set us up down a downhill snowball effect. We don't do it as, at all, probably, anymore. There was one time I was today. in... There was a time we were... Uh, Funny quick story. I was in Vegas. You were here. Pen, I was at a, my buddy's engagement party, and it was a McGregor or a Rousey fight. I think it was McGregor. And uh, so what we do a lot on our site is like right when the fight ends, if it's a crazy like knockout or something, we'll post it because we have a lot of fans that the MMA crossover. And I po- I was like at this party. The party was almost over. Probably thirty minutes left so at that point i've had like nine ten drinks at an open bar and kyle's like dude build it build it build it so i'm sitting there with like all these people watching me and i was like doing rain man stuff like not even paying attention to anyone talking to me like coding up the stuff posted it blew up then i went back to uh the rest of the party that was actually the night that my buddy got the hooker i talked about in episode one <laughs> nice so to answer your question jimmy yes sometimes get fucked up and work and like it I like it. Um, but we had a guy on Twitter send us an actual video. It, it, Burns, do you have a good idea of what the video said? Because we're going to... I can play it. Huh? I can play it. play it on the edit, won't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll play it right I'll now. I'll play it so on the edit. So we're going to cut away right now. And if you're on YouTube, you're going to see this. If you're on any other platform, you're just going to hear it. But this is one of our fans asking us a question. And you guys are more than welcome to put it in video format as well. You can email us. You can tweet comment whatever you want to do facebook it doesn't matter so watch this you ready jimmy i'll pl- or listen to i'll this play clip. it what is going on ptfo podcast host and i wanted to elaborate a question off of colby's he said something about dying and coming back to life with the memories of your past life if you could die but when you came back to life it would literally be a complete repeat of your life would you do it all over again or if you could do this an infinite number of times, as in just keep repeating your life over and over, what different kind of lifestyles would you try? Would you try being the best person you possibly could, be the worst person you possibly could, or um, anything creative that you guys can think of? I just think uh, this would be an interesting question for you guys to answer in your next podcast. If, even if you don't, I still think the show is amazing. So uh, keep up the good work, guys, and keep doing what you do. Okay, so what, what is his name? So we can give him credit. His name, <clears throat> Sub, Sub Precision. Sub Precision. Appreciate the video, man. That's actually a really good question. I'm going to go last. Uh, <clears throat> I've, I've got some ideas. So I think oh, Burns I should go. No, I'll go first. Let me go no, yeah, first. Let Burns right. go second okay. to last because I think Burns is going to get deep. Kyle, let me go. go first. So I've always looked at myself as kind of like, a, besides like alcohol, and you know, I've you know ate a couple weed cookies or candy or smoked a little bit, just a tiny bit, you know, probably handful of times in my life i think it'd be cool just to if you know if you can live the infinite amount of times like I, i've always been curious about like the life of a drug addict you know like like, <laughs> like from my standpoint it's like like how can like some things i could see but some things i'm like how can somebody be so like addicted to something right where it's like they cannot resist like the only main goal in their life is to get that substance you know and and people call um alcoholism a disease you know i've always been the kind of guy like wait like how like and people call like addictions d- diseases you know like cocaine and stuff like that like i've always been like how in the fuck do you consider that as you know a disease 
when it's something that it is your choice to try in the first place, you know? And I, I mean, I, I know that's not the correct answer. I mean, I, a lot of people are, are conflicted on that, but I'm just curious to like do as many drugs as I can to see like, okay, why, why do people like, is, is this really a disease or is it really just somebody that's just like, you know, looking for that sensation? It, it, it's just, it's just weird. I've always, I've never been the person that's like, I need to depend on, on drinking drugs, even though I'm drinking right now, like drugs or anything. But I, I'm just curious from that standpoint in life, like how can you be like something so fucking much that you just ditch everything for, you even ditch your personal health for it. You know, you're just like, I need that heroin, you know, I, so I would definitely do that. I don't think it's a it's point. Actually a I don't really think good... it's a point that they like it at that point. I think it's a point that they they need they need crave it. Crave it, yeah. Okay, that's so what, that's you really would say like, you would be a druggie, Colby. That's yeah. a really good answer, dude. Fuck, I uh, would fuck that heroin up. Uh, so I mean, there's so many things I want to like dive in, which I don't want to. Like, oh, what about this? What about that? I'm saying it's a clean slate. You had an infinite life, and this is gonna sound even as messed up as Kyle's drug one. But I would try and become like some sort of like master scarface mind drug dealer or like business like black black hat type dude i know again this sounds fucked up but like i've always uh wondered like like the people behind the scenes of like a massive porn company or like even more like crazy <laughs> stuff like like i would love to like wake up but then there's so many things Hold like on, my head. like colby, I w- colby what would you yeah. what would your porn handle name be uh, at the porn dude, probably. At the porn. At dude. Mister Porn. What? That's weak. It would. Well, it would be something like Long Dong Mormon or something. Oh, that'd be good too. No, I'm not saying I'm doing porn. I'm gonna own like the sites. If I was doing porn, I'd probably go by my old rap name, Clark Gable. You like that, Kyle? Yeah. I know what I'm gonna That's do. Fucked up. But, but but basically, I guess. But if I had unlimited lives, like. So you you'd want to so be many one questions. of those, You'd want to be one of the shady characters, the black market behind the scenes. At least. Going At least down once, and selling but crystals for drugs and shit. I have a better answer to this question. Okay. Well, that's. Let me just end this with the question to the question. Like that's oh. once, but when when do I realize I have infinite life? You don't. Like, it's Groundhog's Day. It just completely keeps repeating. See, itself. then I don't think I don't think my personal brain would ever think to go. I think I would be that dumbass guy who lives the same damn life every time oh. over and over again. All right, no, but I, I think I, I got a great answer for this. You guys are looking at it all wrong here. What I've noticed with human beings is that they're very stupid and gullible. So I'm going to start my own religion. I'm just going to make up a whole bunch of bullshit. You could do it. That's the sad thing. And I'm going to see how much money I can make. You're going to Marina Joyce them. You're going to build your own temple. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to start my religion. So just like somebody did around Jesus. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to start my own religion. (laughs) I'm going to see how much much money I can make. These people make untaxed money. I can be as rich as I want to be. Okay. Who's I'm gonna Who's going gonna to start? Go who's going to start helping me write this religion? Someone give I'm me down. an idea. <laughs> okay. Dude, a, let me Let me give. I'm trying to think of somebody. Here. Sorry. Okay. Go. So the well, you guys are missing the big picture here. He said it, you literally repeat over and over, so you can try everything. I mean, you could. You don't have to focus in on one. You can do them all. But if we had to focus on one, I would want to be the epitome of an Ocean's Eleven guy. I would want oh, to be, good I would answer, want to be dude. Brad Pitt in Ocean's Eleven. That's, that's I would be your George Clooney, Jimmy. I would be your George, George yeah, Clooney. Yeah, any one of them. It doesn't matter. But I would want to be that guy that, that not only knocks over casinos and banks, but you do that shit in such a badass way that you're just cool. You're cool. That's what I would want to do. I would want to live the life of, a, one of an Ocean's Eleven guy. Yeah. So we're kind of on the same page because I thought Scarface at first, but Ocean's Eleven. It's way 11. easier to make money with religion than trying to rob a casino, Jimmy. Hey, f- would, on, any you, would any of you test out murder since you know it would erase after? I would like to see if I, I get away I with it. I yes. still think about it now. <laughs> 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 Kyle's still thinking about it even without the infinite life. But it, I feel like at, at one point in my life, even this current life, like I need to kill somebody. Like If you just go onto those... Go onto the those apps where you can find like the child predators in your area. Like you wouldn't just kill a random person. That's fucked up. But like, so if you go onto like one of those apps that say, okay, well this person who is a sex offender lives right there. They fingered a two year old. Like that person just deserves to get killed anyway. But so it'd be cool 
you know, to really take a year and think about how you want to kill that person. You know, like like you Map see all these out, like you see all these people that like kill people and they just just like fuck it, whatever, stab you. You know, but imagine if you had a, a whole year to think about it without getting caught. That would be awesome, dude. That's a question in itself. So you, you would want one be, year to kill like one person in one scenario. Holy just shit. once, you you have to experience, it. and that's from the standpoint of like. Like if I mean if I didn't have kids and stuff or married, it would be a lot easier to try it. But now it's like well, you'd be it, an assassin probably. Yeah, if, but I, now an assassin it, would be badass. I didn't think yeah. about. That. I think Kyle would be a assassin good assassin. assassin. But we're talking. I want to be a, an assassin that's like high profile. I want to be a mixture of James Bond and an assassin. What about that dude? That sick ass cars and shit. The guy from Crank. What's his name? Uh, Jason, Jason Statham. Jason, Jason, yeah, that's who. Yeah. Would be, I'd be him one life. And also, for the record, I need to clear something up. I said I would be George Clooney, but that's a, just a complete diss to my boy Matt Damon. Jimmy, I'm going to be in your crew, but I'm definitely Matt Damon. Well, I, I gave myself way too much credit. I would probably be Clooney. There's no way. I, I mean, I could be Pitt. So. George I don't know. Clooney's a douchebag, though. Well... Not in the movie. Thanks, He's brother. awesome in the movie. <laughs> I meant in real life. All right, um, uh, Burns. Act- we're we're going to end with Colby's secret question. We'll end the show with that in a little while. Um, but each week, we ask you, uh, you people, you people that listen to us, you listeners, to send in your questions. We have uh, what is kind of a split thing. I call it terrible advice. Burns says it's the best fucking advice in the world, but it's our thing. We give life advice to you guys so you can email the show you can tweet you can comment you guys already know the routine and burns has hand selected a few and we're coming off a story that that it ranged two episodes from what was her name little miss naughty. naughty little miss naughty so it's going to be interesting to see see what you have for us today all right so i we are your 100 percent qualified therapists and today's first question comes from kd He's 18 years old. He's still in high school since he started school late. He has a huge crush on his teacher. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is a good one. We're really cool. She's still pretty young, like 25, so she's probably Mm. a relatively new teacher. So this is prime real estate here. This is a first-round draft pick. Uh, He stays after class, and they kick it. They're like friends. Doesn't really feel like she's his teacher. And he says that they flirt, and he thinks that she notices it. And he's got an idea that he really wants to hit her up and smash. But her husband uh, is in the her husband is in the military and would uh, fucking kill him. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Back off or take the risk of getting shot in the face? Fuck her, but don't tell nobody. He's got to go for it, right? No, nah, he's eighteen. Hold, no, got, hold, um, on. Part of, hold on. Stop. I'm part. Part of me's torn because of the military stop. thing. If he would just would have said husband, I would have said serving his country. He's over there serving our, our country. But it doesn't, protect- say, it doesn't say he's no, no, deployed no, 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 or anything. No, 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 you, you, hold hold, you hold your shit for a second. This oh, no, 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 no. Is, is serving and protecting our country, our way of life, and probably a family. I mean, who knows? They may have kids or whatever. He's over there doing his thing, and no, that's fucked up. You know what's really funny about these teacher sex scandals? Is when you see it when it's like a male teacher getting with a underage girl. Everyone's like, "Ah, oh, he's a pedophile. Lock him up, kill him." But when it's a dude, it's like, "Get it, do it." <laughs> yeah, they use Good they use him. the South the South Park picture that says, "Nice." I say he I, has to. My go advice for it. is to stay away from it, dude. Just no, no. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, Here's you the thing. threw in the wild card. You threw in the fact that she has a husband that's over there. Sometimes risking you got to risk it. Well, he's gonna have risk, to risk it for the biscuit, baby. Risk, risk it for the for biscuit. The biscuit. Nah, you guys, uh, you I'm guys gonna are assholes. No, 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 Jimmy. I'm gonna toe the line here. I'm gonna say, damn, I hate to say this, but I think he needs to go for it. But it sucks that if if she goes through with it with this guy who's an 18 year old student in her class, she's gonna do it to the dude on another. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like she's if she does it with this dude, the odds are she's gonna do it with somebody down the road. So she's probably no, that's, not the you're, best person. You're going off this high motherfucker that's doesn't bullshit. care about that's a relationship. Cop out well, if it's a cop out answer, him, but I'm saying he should he should go for it. Else. Well, he should go for it, but I hate saying he should go for it. So he I'm should fuck her, then rat it rat her out, then get popular that way. 
Yeah, oh, so he's going to avoid the ass kicking by telling the husband about it. Yeah, see, there's too many. There's, there's. Well, the two husband, ways this guy the gets, husband isn't going to no, get no, no, mad this guy's at the kid. Get fucked up. You guys are, you guys are sending mm. this guy down the 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 wrong road because one <laughs> the wrong road. One, the moral of the story is it's one, three to one, three one, to one. Aware, banger. If he's fully aware that she's married and that her husband is serving his country. He's just a fucking horrible person for doing it. Number two, if this husband finds out when he gets back, he's never said he's gone. We don't know. He's he's not going to fight the kid. It's not the kid's fault. At that point, it's like statutory rape, man. He's 18. He's He's an adult. He has to think for himself. Oh, he's 18. Hey, shout out to little Dicky, dude. Wait, if you're 18, 18, you still can't fucking teach her, though. Why not? You're still a kid. They're both adults. You're in school, aren't they? But he's yeah. still in high school, though. There's still got to be some oh. clause. No, I in the think rule. there is. There's probably yeah, because we. You post can't. A, a teacher those. can't fuck a kid. Hey, speaking of teachers fucking kids, there was a story posted three days ago about this teacher. She got ex or er, blackmailed for twenty four thousand dollars. The kid that she was banging, he was like, "Hey, you don't pay me, I'm gonna tell everyone." Forty four k. Any any That's freaking wild. any freaking viewer fans we have that are serving in the military, you're gonna be like, no, we life. we. Damn hey, it. shit happens, man. There's more fish in the ocean or something. Whatever they say. You fish go. in the yeah, sea. Go, you go, know what go I go also say is... Fish. Next what, question. No. The key he, is life happens. More fish in the sea? How many teachers are willing to fuck this kid? One. No. <laughs> well, first off... We don't even know the, if this teacher's first willing off, to do Yeah, first off, the find dude... Out. He's got to find out, right? The dude's he a virgin, and she fucking smiled at him, and he thinks that she wants to have sex with him. That's what I was waiting for. That's the actual story. But if she was actually interested, and you know the whole scenario is true, like... Like it's fucked up, but but the dude is most likely a virgin, and he's had no female interaction, and he thinks the teacher randomly likes it, which is bullshit. So there you go. Nah, he's got to go for it. You're you know they always say, watch. guys, go for it, do it. They Next always question, say please. life happens between empty and full. Life happens between empty and full. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Think about your gas tank, Jimmy. Oh my Life God. happens with right. hey, quick, quick ga- Hold on, stop, 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 stop. Right, stop. stop, stop, please. Let me let me hop on this real quick. So the first time uh when Colby started working with us, right? I he lived in Utah, home home of the Mormons. Yeah, baby. And uh long, represent long Beehive Mormon. State. So we were our business was already starting to thrive and we were talking about him moving down here and, you know, getting shit figured out. So the first time we've ever like Kind of met. In, we played flag football like three years previous, but the first time we met in person in since, college, champions, baby. Since working with each other, he fucking picks me up at the airport, and he's on E. Like the light is on, and we got like a pretty important business meeting. We're gonna go to like start. Actually, it's when we started Respawn, the energy drink company. Yeah, and uh, so we're like, cool. Yeah, we're gonna go taste some shit, and we're meeting up with like three other like business partners. And he picks me up from the airport. We get four miles, and it's just <laughs> his fucking car dies on the freeway because he didn't get gas. Hell yeah, baby. Hey, let me tell you why I did that, though. The reason why I did that is I hadn't left my house in like 10 days, just grinding it out. And I'm like, oh, I can make it. No, couldn't make it. Kyle, were you thinking in your head, is this the dude for me? Yeah. What the fuck did I get into? Yeah, and, and then he, he struggled figuring out how to... We were actually getting on the... We got, we're getting back on the freeway. We got off to peak for gas, and we got back on and it died. But luckily, uh, his dad came and dropped off fuel. Yeah, he was like, luckily, three miles away. And your mantra He's is, little... you live life between empty and full, huh? No, not live life. Life happens. Oh. What can you do about it? Gotcha. All right. Living life I don't in the know, fast what the, lane. What does that have to do with what, the, what we're talking Living about? life, man. Empty Living and full. Living life between empty and full. All Fuck right. off, birds. Go. <laughs> All right, next question. I, I didn't save the name of the person that sent this, so I'm sorry. But uh, he just finished college, and he's going to start making some decent money. He's looking for some advice on how to make a dumb-as-fuck financial choice. This dude's trying to spend some money, so we're going to help him make a life mistake here. Oh, here it goes. No, Pick no, wait, 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 stop, stop. Just email us, buddy. We will help you. We've got Kyle, I'll we'll, spend it for you. Kyle will put you down the great No, path. I have the answer to this question, but he's like, he just wants this as a reward for finishing school. He's thinking, do I get two jet skis for his girlfriend and him, or do I <clears> get a Wrangler? This I'm, is my no. answer to the question. You take is this he question. gay? Wait, is he gay? <laughs> Did no, he mention that or not? No, he's, <laughs> no, he's, he's a his girlfriend. girlfriend. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, this is, my, this is my advice. You take that money that you got stored away for the two jet skis, 
You take it down to the casino, to the roulette table. Put that bitch put on, on red. You put that shit oh. on red, and now if you win, you can get four jet skis, and you can donate them to no, PTFO. No, fuck that. You ride it. You ride yeah, it. Yeah, I'm with Jimmy. You ride it. Ride or die. Yeah. Wait, does he have money? Did he say he had money? Yeah, how much got, money, how much money does, is he talking Wait, about? Wait, why the fuck I don't know. He fresh says out of college do you have money? Skis. He's trying to just figure out how to spend some money. To okay, stop. No, pause. How much are jet skis, Kyle? Brand new. 10k, 13, 10 to 15. 15. Okay, so let's assume this dude's got 25 cash, 25 grand cash, and he's wanting to know he's wanting some dumb way to spend it, whether it be jet skis or a Jeep Wrangler. Is that? Yeah. Fuck the Jeep Wrangler. This dude's gay for sure. I drive a Jeep and don't get it. That's a waste, dude. You got to do something baller. Like 25k, you can go, and let's just say you do want to keep your girlfriend. You go somewhere exotic, seven day trip. Your life is about experience, not material things. Go ball mm-hmm. out, no, 25K. I, never mind, I'm not going to go down that path. Or go to the casino. That, you're, you're full of shit because your or life go to is the about casino. experiences. Most of those are through material things, one way or another. Well, no, no, no. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying don't buy a GoPro that's $500 on the way to the trip. I'm saying Dude, I like, saw the video of you riding some big-ass banana in the ocean. Yeah, that's true. That's I did a material ride it, but... thing. Those sunglasses you were wearing, material things. Those, sw- no, those no, no. shorts you had on, guess what? Material shit. I'm not saying you don't buy material shit. I'm saying you do it like with a purpose. Don't just go buy a Jeep that's going to sit in your driveway or go sit in your work parking space. Uh, when you're working eight hours a day, that really nice car you bought is sitting there for eight hours. I'm interested don't in do jet that. skis, though. I mean, Make jet it... skis are that's different than a vehicle. Make it I mean, fucking if... rain, dude. That's if what I'm saying. Don't put a down go... payment on some rental property. Guys, give him some fucking good advice. No, dude, we're going to the casino. We're putting it all in red. He's getting four jet skis, and he's donating them to the podcast. <laughs> or we're going to vegas and we're doing it and when he hits the red he gets two jet skis and four hookers fuck it dude if you really want to piss your money away we'll meet you in vegas and we'll we'll ball out and have a ptfo party and you can use it there i'll put your money on red because that's what i do every single time at the casino the fucking worst person most of the time i won except the last time which was we just we just booked a vegas trip this summer and i I email us back email us back does this dude want to go to vegas with us and blow some money in stupid ways (laughs) jimmy every Uh, time we go to vegas every time we go ashley hits the jackpot on the wheel of fortune thing not not the uh, um the big one you better knock on wood it's the the actual machine jackpot like whether it's knock on wood, Jimmy. Every time. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. When are you going? I'll book my flight right now because I'm going, going we're in going March. To June. I'll go in June about too. To but I'm going in that, March. About to pick that suite out this weekend, I think. Hey, you know what? As my suggestion, you should look at Vidara. I know it's not like the fanciest, like, but it's connected to Cosmo and the other one, so it's actually pretty nice. I've got an M Life. We have an M Life membership. We're yeah, so I used I used M Life. Kind of. We're kind of swanky on that membership, so we have to stick with like Monte Carlo, MGM Grand, Mandalay Bay. Eh, no, dude, Vidar is connected to M Live. Look it up. I promise. All right, fuck off. What's the most you've ever put on Red? Me, Red? Not as much as you. I watched you. <laughs> Not the. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. know what, what was it like? Five hundred bucks? On a casino? I've probably put thousand no. dollars on Red, but in real life. Last time we went to Vegas, I play a lot of three card and four card, and you can play what's called in the blind. That means you don't even look at your fucking cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasted. That's the way to do it. And there was a point where I was betting like three hundred a hand in the blind or in the dark, in the dark, not in the blind, in the dark. And I did that for like thirteen hands in a row. I was I was just crushing, crushing the deal. Let me let me set the story for what Kyle did. He disappears for a second. We're like, oh, I wonder where he went. He comes back from the ATM. 500 bucks you're like oh he's gonna play with us because we're all playing like no one has a real strategy on roulette it's just kind of like oh i'll play four numbers it's whatever the worst house odds in the casino for you guys kyle shows up and he's like what's up Not bitches? When you're going 50 50 he takes it and he puts it all on <laughs> what fucking red three? what if it's zero go ahead sorry that was it so i've done when we were when we were on the cruise for colby's bachelor party i had put like 250 on black and fucking one and just you stacked dipped it out you no stacked, I, just, oh. I just rolled out and I was like, yeah, I'm bad. And it was actually like three or four instances I won, um, except for the one where I put 500 on. Quick, I quick, lost that one. Quick little funny story. You guys, Have you guys seen National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation? Yeah. Of no. course. Of course I have. Okay. Where he, he blows it all, right? There comes a point where he, he doesn't have any money. He's digging up money with, with his cousin. What's his name? Yeah. Okay. We, went, we took Jeffrey, who's a really good friend of mine. We took him to Tunica. And he got, he was fucked up and he was fucked up. He was, 
high and drinking and shit, and he ran out of money. He, he went up against a blackjack dealer that he ended up calling Shim because he couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl, and he was getting mad because it was the whole Vegas thing where the blackjack, I mean, he'd get 20, she'd get 21. He'd get 19, she'd get 20. And I mean, just obliterated his bankroll. So he's broke, okay? Desperate, trying to figure out what he could do. He's on the 20th floor is where his room is. So he goes all the way up to the 20th floor, and he's, he's high as fuck, he's drunk, he can barely walk, and he finds a slot machine voucher for $1 under his bed. He comes all the way back down, all the way fucking back down, sits down, <laughs> Puts it in, lights up a cigarette, pulls it, loses, and then just walks all the way back up to his fucking. Room. I thought he was gonna win. No, yeah, that's yeah. God no. It was so. What funny. a walk! It was so funny. <clears throat> that's why I believe in no stairs. You always got to take an elevator because that's a long. Oh, trip it was so funny. for one dollar. If there were, if you could have put music behind it in like real life, it just it would have been so funny. Anyway, last uh, question, Burns. All right. I thought there was going to be a happy end of that story where he won like 50 grand or something. No, it yeah. ended up me laughing at him because it was so funny. <clears throat> All right, our last advice question before we get to Colby's secret question of the day. We got a friend from Sitka, Alaska. I looked it up on the map. It's like on the, it's on the coast. He's Ooh, in the water. I wonder if he knows j Anyways, uh, his advice question is, uh, how are you supposed to find out what to do in life? He's a senior in high school and he's having trouble making a concrete decision on this. He feels like these days we just get distracted by potential paychecks and neglect the passions that we have in our life. And he's trying to figure out what he should do. He feels like when he travels, he gets more experience and finds new passions. Don't go to college unless okay, you know what you Okay, before you guys send this dude off on one of your shitty-ass suggestions, remember, this is a real dude that's about I was to, serious. That's he about knows what he's graduate. getting himself into. When he, he knows what he's getting himself into by saying If you question. email PTFO, you know <laughs> what you're getting. No, fuck college unless you know what you <clears> want to do. I went to college for seven years, and I can admit and agree with <laughs> whoa, Kyle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You Van Wilder for seven are years? You, are you a doctor? Dude, I'm basically a doctor. A doctor in fucking great times. What is your degree? Uh, not even IT. What I Is it liberal now. arts? The no, it's degree? administrative management and information technology, but it's basically like, long story short, I went there to do video editing, picked a school that gave me a track scholarship, went there. Uh, about two years in, I realized I was taking like debate classes and all these communication classes, and the stuff I wanted to take was going to take another two years. That's when I got to like the the good stuff. Like I wanted to be like I wanted to edit like like Sports Center was like my goal. Then I realized like I walked out of a class and I was one of those douchebags that was like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" And I walked out of class. I went home, called my dad. I'm like, "I'm going to quit school. Like, this is stupid." He's like, "Oh no, try try to find something else." And that's like, I started looking at uh, YouTube at the time for like web design stuff and I followed some dude's videos. I'm like, I'm going to be a web designer. So that's how it took me seven so you got years. A Plus I got a degree? Oh yeah, I have a full degree, but like and it what took I- took you I mean, seven years? I had a, I, I missed a year because I had mono. I took a year to do all my stupid like AA classes where I took, uh, I took like social studies and all that bullshit. Like I learned about rocks, all this. Sh- I don't even remember any of that stuff anymore. But I had to take that for a whole year, where they just took my money. Well, yeah, they basically actually... make you say, take the same classes you took in high school. So if if what Kyle's saying, like if if you know what you want to do and you have like a vision of like, oh okay, I want to do like this. That's different. Like college makes sense for those type of people. But if you're gonna go waste two years to do like your associates. You should do it a different way. Show up to a four-year school after that with like your AA, then you can get right into a program. My problem was is I took all these bullshit classes for a year and a half, and stuff that didn't interest me at all, like rocks. No offense, people like are geologists, but like that was just boring as shit. So it sucked, and I wasted a ton of money and a ton of time. Another option, he maybe he doesn't want to go to college. He wants to go learn a trade or craft. I mean, electrician, plumber contractor yeah it sounds to me like he just wants to travel and find out what he, he doesn't that, really that, understand that takes what, money though yeah it's true yeah. if you if you have the money i say do it but if you don't your options are limited yeah he also threw sucks. out the word passion follow your passions well a lot of the times your passions aren't like monetizable i mean they are if you're good enough at that passion but uh i think i was watching something with mike Rowe a couple weeks back and and he's like, he was talking about the whole like follow your heart concept, follow your passion, do it, love your job. Like, that's completely unrealistic. 
fucking work something that makes money and make your i mean make make for the for the average person you know make money on this in in this on this end and then on the other end you know do your passion with that money that you're making from the first end like realistically most people don't like their jobs and realistically people you know with a certain passion that's not going to be their job that was well you know, said so, kyle thank you that was very but, well said. i mean it's just it's just so many people like like i think it's a little different for us you know we it, you got to be the cert, like a certain type of person to really live out your passion and and be well off from well, that you passion. Money. You look at money first. for six months we didn't make a dollar on our website for six months i didn't make yeah, but I didn't if make you think about that's youtube for two years but we were following a dream. But that no, that was. I mean, that's not. Our, that wasn't our passion. I mean, if our well. passion was making a lot of money, then that, I mean, that's like our passion isn't searching for YouTube or for video content and articles all day. Like that's not our passion. My passion's fucking riding a snow bike, you know. But I don't. I I can't do that twenty four seven because I know I'm not going to be able to make money off that, you know. Well, there, there, there may be a way to monetize it. You could go like X Games. There is, but you got to monetize it to a certain point. Like even the people in the X, like if you go win the X Games snow bike racing, it, it's realistically, I mean, maybe for those guys, but like for somebody that has a family and 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 you know, like a mortgage payment, like that's not, it's not well, realistically monetizable. I just had a vision. We're gonna turn you into an X Games snow biker. There you go. You're, more, you're probably more athletic. That's not my, but that's not my. My thing isn't going fast. My thing is technical stuff, getting places where. Well, maybe they'll create that by the time that we're pro. Because I'm gonna be your manager. I mean, I'll go fast. If people are watching me, though, I could probably go pretty fast. Go fast, Ricky Bobby. All right, Colby. Secret question time. Oh, let me get my notes up. All right. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, I do a secret question of the day. Most of the time, it's overhyped, it's underdelivered. Not a secret question, though. Well, no one knows about it yet. Oh, okay. Okay. I need you guys to hang with me for one sec on this question because it takes a second to explain, but we're going into statistics here. Not good for me, my math brain. Yeah, you so suck at math. I had an idea a couple years ago, uh, maybe like four years ago, when Tinder started getting popular for an idea called, uh, what my idea was like Tinder Live. So you'd go like to a bar and if other people were on Tinder, there'd be like some kind of system you would have to be like, oh, that girl's on Tinder or whatever. Like I want to send her a drink or I want to virtually like chat with her before I go talk to her because a lot of people just don't have like game you know what I'm saying that was my idea years ago and then a couple days ago on Twitter I see a question that was just like what's something that you wish you could always have like when you go places like someone you didn't have to have a uh, communication with somebody it would just like spit out so I was like wow that's a good idea what's it so here's the question what statistic would you love to see floating over people's heads on a daily basis, like over and over again. So like oh, I see. a couple. I see where you're going. So and like while you guys are thinking, so like I have a couple just like off the top of my head, like as a single person, like what statistic would they love to see floating over someone's head? Like sexual interest in them, like oh I go into a bar and it's like a little bar going up and it's like green means like eight out of ten. This is, this is simple, dude. If I'm single, and I want to know I, the statistic is what type of porn they watch. Oh, there you there go. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. Find out so what that's they're into. Yeah, go. so there's there's that for the single people, but I'm going to ask you guys as three people in your current life, what would the statistic be that you would like to see on a daily basis and which one would you uh not people hope? in your life or people you're just meeting? Just meeting and then like which one would you would like what's the least statistic thing like about you that you would like hope that no one else had the ability to see? Does that make sense? Like Does it count as a statistic if you're like if it's like can I see if they would fuck me or not? No, that's that's what I'm saying. Like that's the number one. Like if I was a single person and I went into a bar, it would be like the scale of Are interest they attracted in them. To you? Or yeah, like, would they yeah. fuck you? That like an interest so level. Easy. It, okay, yeah, no, okay. that's, I'll go first. That's a single person. I'm saying like I as I got it. I got it. As, single, a married, as yeah. a married father. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So I'm asking you guys as normal people, like as single people, it's easy to be like, oh, are they gonna bang me? What's their right, sexual right. history like? How much STDs do they have? That's the single person. I'm asking you three in general. All right. As, as a husband and a father, and it being 2017 and the world is batshit crazy, I would want a statistic floating over everybody's head that I walk past airport, whatever, some kind of, of gauge to make sure that they're not nuts and dangerous. So I don't know Damn, what that statistic would one. be, but I want they're, something they're, uh, where criminal mentality history. Criminal scale. History. Criminal history. 
okay. Or like, or, or, or like be, an I odds. No, but I want something to where I can identify if somebody's batshit crazy, so I can avoid that situation. That's well, what, what about just a meter? A meter, like a red to green meter yeah, of kill where meter. they are. Kill meter. Yeah, kill meter. Like uh, to do something crazy, yeah. like the dude that went in to the theater. Like yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you got That's like exactly an all green. It's want. like just for the fuck. fact of. I don't want to die. I don't want my wife to die. I like to protect my Damn, kids. Damn, that's a good one. Crazy. That's a good so one, that's Jimmy. That's what I'd be looking for. Uh, I wonder how everybody would react if, like, from a male version, like, if it was just their their stat was their penis size. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, like, there's so many ways you like, can go curious, with it. Like, it's curious. It would be. I, I'm. I'd be super curious to see like how so somebody how like timid or something. Well, could you do the out- same with a, the the female? It could be her vagina width or something. Yes, I mean some sort of scale to make it comparative, comparable like to a male. But it's like I like I'm just from a curious standpoint. I like I wonder in like the real world if somebody with like a really small penis, like like how they acted compared to like like confidence wise compared to like it not, not. And I'm not even talking like sexual wise, but like like say going to get a job at Safeway. You know, is that person with the big dick like super confident when they roll right, up in there? Right. And, the, and like this, the person with Damn, the tiny really dick good. is like kind of just like timid and like, I wonder how like your dick, like this is weird, but like I wonder how your dick size like actually Influences plays your life. on like your personality and stuff like that. You know, just, Damn, that's a good just out too. of curiosity, you know. So walking into a room being like big dick, big dick, medium dick, small dick, and like that guy's over there drinking by himself in yeah, the corner. Yeah, but it's like, weird. Like, you got a small ju- ass dick. How do you judge a vagina? Like, well, I don't know. Like, like do you judge it by vagina, size? What I would you... want to know is that are you shaved or not? Am I going to be crawling through the jungle or am I on the slip and slide? So that's that's from a single man. Wait, Burns, yeah. is that what you're? That's like your thing though. Like you you have one in the world, and you're going to find out if the girl's shaved. It's not or like not? you're choosing if it's you're important. fucking her based off her. Pussy hair. All I all I all I picture is like it's Pokemon and you find an ultra rare Pokemon and then that one dude that you guys did an article about that has the nineteen inch penis above him yeah. it's like Mew or the the ultra or or Super Mewtwo? Saiyan. <laughs> the dude walking like, with a twenty inch penis. Well let me let me circle back then. What is the things that you guys would hope would not be over your head? I'm for mine it's very simple. Mine is actually I didn't even tell you guys mine. Mine's a double answer. Like the thing I wish I could see in people is like a bullshit meter. Like, it would save so much time if you could just go into a conversation about business or just like a lot of stuff like you run into people and it's just like, man, I wish I would just know if this guy was just bullshitting me and taking me along like, you know, beating around the bush. But then at the same time, like I would hate for people to see a bullshit meter on me. Like, damn, this guy's just right wasting my time. Like all he does is just sit behind a computer and be a dumbass. So like, what are the three, like, out of you three, what are the things that you would hope that would not be a stat, like, well, two hovering years ago, over your head? Well, two years ago, I would have been wait two years ago, because, I mean, I was really super into Oh, so walk into, a pl- walk into a place and be like, oh, this guy weighs this? Yeah. That's actually a good one. Yeah. That, would be a, that would be what women would pick, too, a lot. They wouldn't want people to know their weight. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a human bullshit meter. I know when people are bullshitting right out of the Well, game. what's the thing that you would wish would not be over your head? Uh... There's got to be something. I don't know. He said it earlier, penis size. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you could double up your penis size, walk into a room, and everyone, That's every dude question. knows. I, I want that over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, he stumped you. Mine was easy. But with that being said, guys, we are out of time. Are we? Yeah. That yeah. went by quick, didn't it? So Kyle's gonna take us out. Man, yeah, I'm gonna Kyle, drink every episode. Tell them awesome. what they need to do. Hey, if you made it, <laughs> hey, if you, hey, hey, baby, if you made it this far in the podcast, whether you're listening on iTunes or not, or podcast that app, whether you're listening or not, and if you really are invested in this podcast, please take the time, head over to iTunes and rate us. Whatever platform you're watching on, there will be a link to that. Go give us a rating follow us even if that's not your main source of watching it you know if you're watching on audio boom if you're watching on youtube go to the itunes podcast that's kind of like the thing that's going to keep this son of a bitch rolling you know because um it's cool and all hanging out with our buddies and stuff but we're all grown men we need uh we need exposure and with exposure we need some type of earnings in the end and podcasts is or uh sorry itunes is the way to do it so go give us a review over there 
And it only do it if you if you made it this far and you truly enjoyed the show. Don't just be like those motherfuckers said it, so I'm gonna do it. You know, like if you truly enjoyed yeah, the show, I hate people like that and just do go it like give that. the rating five out of five stars. Um, we truly appreciate it. And yeah, yeah. Make boy. sure you guys tune into Royal Rumble this uh, Sunday because I'm watching Royal Rumble, so we'll watch that together. Make sure to come by uh, when for the Wednesday show for DJ Laura Lux. A.K.A. Ashley Adams, A.K.A. Tits and Tattoos. A.K.A. Big Tits, Big Tats, A.K.A. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of here. Bye. Peace. This is. This, this is. is. Bye. This is. Bye. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the PTFO Podcast. If you enjoyed the show and are watching on iTunes, please leave a five-star review. If you're on YouTube, please hit that like button and leave a friendly comment below. This show is also available on Spotify, Google Play, and Facebook. If there is a topic you would like us to discuss in a future show, or you just want to reach out to us for advice on life's everyday struggles, you can reach out to us with the contact information available down below. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you back every Wednesday and Sunday for a new show. Have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll see you later.